Hey everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Special Hobby. So this kit might be interesting for all fans of World War II aviation well, and as you can see here we have a twin engine aircraft, it's actually British aircraft so airspeed Oxford Mark 1 in 148 scale it should be quite a large model and even box size hints at this and we have here the so-called gunner trainer edition so this is one of the boxing variants of this kit the kit number is SH48227 we have a commercial sample here so it means you'll get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and you can also notice the marking options which are included so we have Royal Air Forces we have Royal Canadian Air Forces also here we have the Royal New Zealand and also Royal Norwegian Air Force so all of this stuff should be inside and the packaging here is quite typical for this brand so here is comparison with my hand also on the side we have this four marking options shown as a profiles side profiles and on the opposite side you can see uh, where this kit was made well it's not difficult to guess that special hobby comes from czech republic so this is a top opening box and if i open it here is what we have inside and as you can see assembly menu is on the top but under it you'll find the resealable plastic bag with all plastic parts and i can see even some resin parts there so it will be interesting to check everything together and of course we will start with parts and then gradually we will move on to add the bonuses which are supplied here so just give me a moment i will take everything out and we will start with the first Grey plastic sprue, here we have wing parts, so they come on the sprue B, here you can see that the overall parts division I would say it's typical for such element. We have also panel lines and riveting, wing mechanization is pre-molded, and also you can see that the main wheel wells, they should be separate. If I zoom in here you can see what we have actually on the external features. So I would say it looks fine but it's not that deep in terms of the panel lines so that's why I do not overdo the layers of the primer and paint because otherwise you will just lose all of these features and you have to rescribe it. Another idea is just to let's say increase the depth of these panel lines but again it will require some additional work and if I flip over these parts here you can see that this kit is something where you have to play a bit because we do not have any guiding elements here and you have to be careful while aligning all of this stuff together and also we have these push rod marks so definitely not a beginner's kit and you should remember this if you would like to train your skills well it might be an interesting opportunity, but still, it's better to have some experience with this type of kits. Next, we continue with another sprue. Here we have engine parts, we have also the cooling parts, winding gear wheels. Each wheel should be glued out of two halves, but I can guess maybe CMK provides some resin updates. We will check it in the assembly manual. Overall, molding quality seems to be fine. If I flip over the sprue here, you can check the parts from the opposite side. Again, we do not have any guiding elements whatsoever for the cooling parts and the landing gear wheels they will be aligned with help of this rice edge on one of the half and that's pretty much all but well it will be also helpful i mean wheels details looked fine for out of the box build but if you would like to achieve a better result and in this size i think it's a good idea so it's also worth getting the resin parts next here we continue with the sprue which brings us the tail wings and I can see that each tail wing is molded together with elevator and also those are the landing gear parts so here and there they're quite thin especially this section so be careful while separating them but it's also nice that they are already aligned in the proper um, position so you won't have to deal with the wrong alignment and then somehow tuning all of this stuff but again we do not have any guiding elements in the tail wings so keep it in mind and take your time while trying to align all of the stuff together between each other. Next, we continue with the last gray plastic sprue. Here we have the sprue A. So this one is dedicated to the fuselage house. Each fuselage half is molded together with the tail fin and rudder. We also have some cockpit parts. And also this is the cockpit floor panel which will be inserted inside obviously. 
Also, we have cutouts for all necessary clear sections, but this door is pre-molded, so you won't be able to open it. And again, if I flip it over here inside, we have actually quite nice details pre-molded on each of the fuselage halves. Maybe I can zoom in so that you can see what I'm talking about. So here is one half and here is another one. But again, we do not get any guiding elements. So no guiding pins, no guiding tabs. And that's why you will have to be careful, especially considering that this nose area is pre-molded. It does not come as a single piece section. So here you have to be extra careful in order not to get any gaps. Because it will be visible, it will require some additional sanding for sure. And that's something you should be ready. Next, we continue with the clear plastic sprue it is packed into the separate plastic bag so here we have the canopy we also have some parts for the turret and again molding quality looks fine i would say it's really nice thing to get out of the box and as far as i can see we also have masks we will talk about them later but it means that you won't have to cut all of these tiny uh, stickers by yourself you get them supplied out of the box what I would like to take a look first before we open the masks is the small plastic bag with resin parts. So I will be putting them one by one because there are several resin supports. These are classic resin parts, not 3D printed, but still they will be handy for some, I would say, fine details on your aircraft. I think 148 scale is this scale where you can play with such stuff and it will be noticeable once you install it. I can see we get the various machine guns. For example, this one I guess will go into the turret. Next, we also have some of the cockpit parts. For example, this. And... This one, I guess, this part. And also here we have again the same part pair it will be used for the engine gondolas so i guess those are engine air intakes but still as i said they're nice to get and as long as this is not coming for an extra cost i am fine with it and it will be definitely handy but as you can see we come up with the multimedia kit so it means you'll be dealing with the several uh, types of material so be ready for this and as i said before it even now, uh, let's say, solidifies this point that this is not a kit for the beginners. Next, we continue with the mask sheet. So this one is pre-cut. We have masks for, I can see even the masks for roundels here, which is quite surprising. We also have them for the canopy and for the turret. Here is for the canopy, that's for the turret. So really interesting choice of masks. Maybe this will be... No, I don't see the middle section. I, first I thought that this is the landing gear wheels, but I guess these are roundels. And next we continue with unpainted PE fret. Here we get a lot of parts for the cockpit. And this is really good thing to get. So again, it's a standard out of the box bonus and it will definitely improve the overall features, overall look of your aircraft model. Next, we continue with the decal sheet. So here we have all the necessary symbols for four marking options. I will zoom out a bit. Yeah, now you should be able to see that we have here all the necessary symbols, even the white ones here. We have also the decal for the instrument panel. We have some stencils. So again, for the roundels, I guess why we have this circle or template so that you can have the white background. But we will check it in assembly manual in a second so that we can understand what is the idea behind it. As for the assembly manual, if I zoom out a bit, Let's close the lenses. So here we have cover printed brochure. We have short history note in English and Czech. Next we continue with the parts map. So here we have unused parts. This one and this one. Those are clear parts. But surprisingly all grey plastic parts will be used. So keep it in mind. And straight away from the start we work with PE parts. Because here we will be assembling the pilot seat. Also, we will be installing the seat belts. Note that the pilot seat support is also assembled out of PE parts. We also get the central column out of resin. Next, we continue with the rudder pedals here. Then we install various stuff onto the 
right fuselage half and then we insert the cockpit 4 in place then we have the I think I skipped one page just give me a second no it's the same okay so here we have the fuselage halves joint next we continue with the wing halves and as you can see the landing gear wheel wells they are molded separately so they will be installed inside maybe it's also a good idea to play with some uh, fine details there maybe wiring or something else if you have reference material for that now also here we install the canopy and the rear turret also the engine cooling parts so as you can see there is no option to open them obviously but still the engine itself will be visible through the frontal section so it might be a good idea to play with some painting and weathering techniques we continue with the landing gear and here we install landing gear doors uh, various external elements on the wing on the tail wing as well antenna do not forget about it and then we have small ad for the various tools from CMK. We reviewed some of them, so they're really handy in the modeling hobby. Here we continue with the first two marking options. So they are quite bright thanks to this yellow color being used on the under surfaces or even on the top surfaces. This one is even more interesting. And I guess we get more because we have a lot of pages. No, there are no, not no any extra marking options i'm just looking that here we have advertisement for other kits in 148 scale we reviewed them all so you can find it easily on our youtube channel together with this cmk kits so as for the today's release it should be already available you can get it on official special hobby website i will be happy to hear your opinion about this release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye